Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Maru Crammy Chronicles. Today I want to do my wrap up for the month of March. It is late, I know. Um, so let's just dive into it. Talk about the uh, statistics. Statistics. That's what I wanted to say of the month. Uh, this month I read um, ten books, uh, of which there was one ebook. Three physical, six audio. In the physical books, there was one uh, multimedia book, one graphic novel, and the ebook I read was a picture book. I also read seven YAs, uh, one middle grade, one adult, and one children book. Um, I read a total of 1,617 pages in a month, which is about 52 pages a day. I read five three-star books, one four-star book, and four five-star books. And the average rating for this month is 3.9 stars out of five. So that's pretty good. Let's dive into the books I read this month. I read the seventh volume of The Lumberjanes. I think it might be one of my favorites so far. Um, I gave it five out of five stars. Totally recommend it. My hair is doing a lot of stuff in the back. Wow, sorry. Um, Let's move on. And then I went on and read Petra by Mariana Coppo, which is an e-arc I got from NetGalley. Um, I will leave all of its information right here. It's a children's book and I thought it was really cute and fun. I gave it three stars for what it is. Of course, it's not the most revolutionary book I've read ever, but it's a children's book. So it was just so much fun. Next, I read a book I have. And it was City of Everly Fire by Cassandra Clare, the sixth book in the um, Immortal Instruments series, and it's the final one. And I read this as an audio. I gave it five out of five stars. It was fabulously good. Um, I totally get the hype over Cassandra Clare now, but I have yet to get into the new series. But so far, I'm really enjoying the Bane Chronicles and. Tales of Shadow Hunters, they're just so much fun. Talking about the Bane Chronicles, I've read a lot of short story from it as audiobooks, so I'm counting them as separate separate uh, items. So let's just dive into the first one, which is What Really Happened in Peru. Um, it was really fun. Um, it It's all in the title. It talks about uh, madness in Peru. It was great. 3 out of 5 stars. And then I read Chopsticks by Jessica Anthony and Rodrigo Coral. This is the multimedia book I read this month and it's all told through pictures. It's very good. It's very 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 good. I loved it so much. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. It might be one of my favorite book ever. I get the hype around it. I was scared to not like it, but it was fabulous. Of course, you can fly through it because it's a multimedia book. But I feel like I will go back to this in a year or two when I forgot a little bit about it and still really enjoy it. I read Children of the New World by Alexander Weinstein. And if you know, I've been trying to get through this ever since December of 2017. I'm not sure if that's the correct month, but I've been trying to get through this and it w I, I had a really hard time, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I overall gave it uh, 3.45 stars. It's the average of the uh, star rating I gave to every story. I will get, tell you my favorite stories of the book, but if you want to know more, uh, go to my Goodreads uh, review down below to see what is my uh, overall uh, review. I tried to do a... Uh... Anyways, you'll see. <laughs> the My favorites were Saying Goodbye to Yang, The Cartographers, Migration, The Pyramid and the Ass. I think there's a last one. Openness. Yeah, Openness is the last one. It's super good, very good sci-fi stories. It's amazing. I think everybody should read it. It's just great. If you're looking for short stories and you're not into the contemporary ones, definitely look this up. It's fabulously good. And if you like Black Mirror, it's like eerily similar to it. It's very, very strange. Oh, like 
certain concepts like intertwined between the show and the book so yeah if you're missing black mirror read children of the new world it's fabulously good i said that like 200 times now anyways and the last uh the last four things are actually stories for from the main chronicles again i can't really say what it's about because it would be, spoil everything but i will tell you the names and the ratings um, the first one being The Course of True Love, uh, which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. It might be my favorite so far. It's... I think it might be my second favorite. I don't know what I gave. No, I think it's my favorite so far. It was super good. I really, really liked this one. Um, next is The Last Stand of the New York Institute, which I gave 3 star to. Um, the Runaway Queen, which I gave 3 star to again. What to Buy a Shadow Hunter, Who Has Everything and You're Not actually dating anyway i think that's sort of what the title is i will put it right here and i gave this one four stars um these i read as audio books on my uh on libby and they were amazing i totally recommend them as audio books if you want to read the bane chronicles read it as an audio it's fantastic it's so good it's so freaking good and i love magnus so i definitely really enjoy these stories overall even though some are pretty boring i still ga gave them three stars because i just love magnus so much so yeah uh that was it for my wrap up um Please let me know down below if you have read any of those books and if you did, uh, let me know your thoughts about them and um, yeah. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe down below to see more of my wrap ups and reading thoughts and have a very lovely day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!